recapping UFC Vegas 85, we had Jamal Pogues defeating Thomas Peterson by decision, and then Mark Almedaros defeating Landon Quinones Kino, uh, by via decision. Then in the next fight, we had a catch weight at 129 pounds. Uh, Lu- Luana Carolina versus Julia Stolarenko. Uh, Stolarenko did some good transitions. Uh, almost uh, got got the arm bar at the end of round one. Then in round three, uh, Stolarenko was just tired and gassed. L- Lana Carolina just took over the fight and ended up knocking her out uh, via punches in the third round. In the next fight, we had the the Korean Quagmire from Family Guy, uh, Leon, Lee, J- Lee Jong Young, and he defeated Blake Builder uh, via decision. And he looks the spitting image of Quagmire. Giggity. Uh, Femba Garimbo then uh, came out. Everyone, I, I thought it was going to be a, a round one submission. Uh, Garimbo defeated Pete Rodriguez via uh, knockout. It was a massive overround ride. Slept him and just fucking all she wrote. Uh, in the next fight, it was a flyweight. It's Charles Johnson versus Azat Maxim. Uh, Charles Johnson defeated him by decision. And uh, the next fight was the headliner for the prelims, and that was Molly McCann versus uh, Diana Balbita. The rematch. Uh, Molly McCann came out, uh, she looked good, she looked focused, uh, Balbita was just narrow-minded, uh, had, had that tight boxing stance, didn't work well for her, uh, Molly McCann ends up getting a, a round one submission via armbar in the last few seconds and breaks Balbita's arm, snaps it right off, you see the pop, you see a crying out in pain and she's holding her arm after, um, terrible mess for her, Balbita, probably going to retire after this fight. Uh, then we had Radke versus Gil- Gilbert uh, Abina. Uh, that ended with uh, Radke winning via TKO and punches in round one. Then in the next fight, a bit of controversy. We had uh, Kizarev versus Muradov, and uh, it ended by no contest. There was an eye poke. It was a, a bad eye poke, and straight away Muradov's eye swell- swelled up, couldn't open it. The physician came in, the doctors looked at it. He said it was a cornea scratch. The, the fight got scrapped. Um, and that that ended pretty much straight away after 11 seconds in the round. Then we had uh, Natalia Silva versus uh, Vivian Arujo. Uh, Arujo was just looking to clinch, not really do anything. Natalia Silva, her uh, taekwondo skills are phenomenal. She looked great on her feet. Uh, some great kicks, great spinning back kicks, body kicks. Uh, she, she's a phenomenal striker. Uh, really put on Arujo, uh, but Arujo just uh, tried to stall the fight as much as possible. Uh, but at least that was uh, not from Nat- Natalia Silva's part. Uh, she did a good job striking. Just couldn't get the finish, unfortunately. Vivian uh, proved too much uh, to... Not pr- too much to handle, just uh, ugged most of the fight. Just tried to stall as much as possible. Uh, survival mode, I guess it was for Rujo. In the next fight, we saw Randy Brown versus Salikoff. Um It was an, another round one knockout. Randy Brown looks he looked massive uh, over Salikov. Ends up putting Sal- Salikov out with a right point uh, over and right. Um, slept. Salikov was out before he even hit the ground. It was a walk off KO. But um, Randy Brown tried to go for the walk off KO, but then he followed up with some punches just to make sure uh, as he started moving again once he hit the floor. Um, Moicano versus Drew, Drew Dober in the co-main event. It was a it was a tough fight to watch. Um, at points it was exciting. At points it was dull. Uh, Moicano did what Moicano did. He 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 used Drew Dober's wild attacks. I he, he marched forward, overswung. Uh, Moicano slipped under, took the back. He, he, his transitions were slick. He ended up uh, all all. <laughs> Almost getting knocked out. Drew Dober came up, um, got in top position at the end of round two and, and cut uh, Moicano open. He's a bloody mess. Uh, round round three ended up much of the same as like round round one. Uh, ended up getting Drew Dober down and uh, getting full mount at the end of the round. And then uh, Moicano, quite exciting on the mic, called out the MMA guru, absolutely called him out, told him, he was a prick or something like that. And then after the fight, R- Renita Moicano goes into an ambulance and starts a live stream from the ambulance on his way to the hospital. In the main event, Nasadine Imovov uh, defeated Roman Delodzi via decision. It was an exciting first round. I feel like the ref re- could have stopped it in the first round. 
Nasadine rocked Roman. Uh, Roman was on the floor and just raining punches, a lot of unanswered punches. Uh, Delodzi spent most of the first round trying to clinch up uh, double under rooks, not really trying to advance the fight or even attack from these positions. He did much of that in round two, three, and four. In fact, not much changed. He, he just kept going for the double under rooks. At times, I think it was round four and five, he became a bit more active, um, went for a takedown in round four. Um, in round three, uh, Im- in, no, in round four, Imavov was uh, deducted a point for an illegal kick to a grounded opponent. Uh, Roman had an and to the floor and uh, Nasadine just full on palted him in the head. Fair play to Roman. He continued the fight, uh, but he, he was losing the fight too, too much. Uh, had been done. A weird judge uh, scorecards in this one. I had it um, even with the point deduction. I, I had it as a landslide for Nasadi in unanimous decision. However, one of the judges did score it forty seven forty seven. Bit of an odd one, uh, but then Nasadi did did win by decision uh, forty nine forty four and forty eight forty six. Very strange scoring on that 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 fight. If you ask me, Roman really didn't do much. He had a few a few moments in the fight. Other than that, it was all Nasadine, slicker, crisper fighter. Um, Roman just never got his range to land shots, and when he was exploding forward, he was just swinging big and not really doing much. And Nasadine just uh, had more accuracy, better striking, and overall just dominated the fight for me. Um, and that's it. That that's the UFC Vegas eighty five recap. Thanks for joining me on the live stream, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.